Now that's a back tire. My camera angle last time, my first time trying the front mount, it was a, uh, I felt like it was a bit too low, it was angled a bit too low, and the mount was too convoluted, I, uh, I had a lot of attachment pieces in it, it was falling off when I got home. So we'll try this, hopefully this is a little better, this one might be angled a little bit too high. So, I've put about 277 miles on this thing now. Uh, that's because it's... I got like three days to ride it after I bought it. And then it was just rain and cold weather again for like a week straight. So now it's warmed up again. It should continue to stay warm. It'll probably rain a lot though. April showers bring May flowers. But in all the time I've been riding this, I've only had one or two people wave back at me on motorcycles. And I've waved at a lot of people, guys. It's crazy. On my RC390, everybody would wave back at me. Any motorcyclist. I had a little Grom wave back at me. And then some, some other cruiser rider. Nobody else will. The Harley hate is strong. I just don't get it. Like a motorcycle is a motorcycle. I even wave at scooters, guys. I don't discriminate based on motorcycle. Are there a bunch of douche Harley riders out there? Yes. But are there a bunch of douche sport bike riders out there? Of course. It's ridiculous. Don't discriminate based on what somebody rides only discriminate on their behavior like I ever since I got this I've had people taking jabs at my bike on social media and YouTube like I understand that but then they're also taking jabs at me too like I'm not a different person just because I have a different bike I've had people unsubscribe to me not because I got a new bike but specifically because I got a Harley if that's not bike discrimination, I don't know what is. I'm a very rational person, so... Things like this kind of bug me. There's no reason for it. But I understand humans are humans. And let me get one thing straight. This bike is no cruiser. I don't care what kind of engine it has. I don't care what name it says on the side. This is not a cruiser bike. It was not meant to be a cruiser bike. This was meant to be a cafe racer style bike. For sport riding, this was made for the curves. No, it can't take curves as good as sport bikes, but it's not a race bike and most sport bikes are. But in no way does this feel like a cruiser. In no way does this ride like a cruiser. My dad, like I've said before, rides a a Sportster 883 and he sat on this the other day and he was very surprised at how it doesn't feel like any cruiser he's ever been on because it's not it's a it's supposed to be a cafe racer they have a full kit out now that you can convert it fully into a cafe racer it comes with rear sets and everything that would be one mean bike but it's pretty expensive of course I've had a lot of people also talking about how expensive Harley things are. Like, have you actually looked up Harley parts and have you looked up Harley bikes? The bikes really aren't more expensive than anything else. And the accessories, all accessories are expensive. Most big motorcycle companies have expensive accessories. But if you look at the parts, they've been making the Sportster for so long, you can get parts that are so cheap. It's not any more expensive than Ducati or KTM or maybe even Honda. Honda has some pretty expensive stuff. I 
I gotta run in and get some stuff and then I'll be back out. But it will be a different moto vlog, so thanks for watching guys. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you're guilty of bike discrimination.